Welcome to Zipping TikTok Band. Welcome to Zipping to TikTok Band. Hi! Welcome to Something to Talk About. My name is Taco, and this is my Let's Talk About the Difference, where we compare something from the show, and uh, like a character who made it into the Game of Thrones show, or House of Dragon, depending on the character, and how they are in the Asana Vice and Fire book series. And um, here we're talking Hot Pie. Probably the biggest character I've covered. <laughs> um, maybe. I feel like it is. Um, yeah, there, it's, it's, I don't know. His, I, I always kind of start off going to the wiki to see how big of a character, like, hey, how, 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 how much? And then I then, you know, kind of use that as a jumping off point and then go through all the chapters again. And for some reason, the wiki was super skimped out on um, Hot Pie. There wasn't a lot of, and I was like, was there just not in a lot? No, just for some reason, it was after I went through the chapters, I started adding a lot more. Um, very cool character. And it, yeah. I think Hot Pie is the biggest biggest character I've covered. Maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm being crazy. I'm being crazy. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about what he did in the show. And I, this is going to be a um, a pretty simplified version of what he did in the show because he was in the show a lot, right? And then we're going to cover what he did in the, the books. And then afterwards, the major differences. So, yeah, starting off, um, Traveling with Arya, show. So in the television adaptation uh, Game of Thrones, Hot Pie is portrayed by Ben Hockey. Um, oh, thanks. Uh, hindsight, not hindsight. Thanks, back of the head. If you don't know what this is, uh, my name is Taco, and I just kind of yell at the screen. I do have these cards that I was about to read off of, but I uh, I don't do any editing or polishing, so sorry if that's not your thing. I like the improv feel. I like, uh, you know... When I, when I stumble and mumble and come up with funny stuff sometimes. I more stumble and mumble than say funny stuff. And then also, spoilers, of course, for the character in the show. So everything that happens in the show, I will cover. And same with the book. So book and show spoilers, because I'm covering this character completely. All right, cool. He's played by Ben Hockey and um, Hot Pie. And Lamy Greenhands are recruited to join the Night's Watch um, by... Um, Yorin? Yeah, Yorin, right? So this is, I believe he comes in either right at the end of season one or right at the beginning of season two. I want to say they bring him in the beginning of season two. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, so, uh, yeah, he uh, starts to bully Ari, which is Arya pretending to be a boy, right? When she joins the group and, um, they demand it. She gives up her sword, Needle. Hot Pie claims he once killed a boy um, once by a bull kicking him to death, which is hilarious. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I hope he didn't actually do it, but that's a pretty great way of... I just kicked him in the balls until he did. When Arya refuses and threatens to kill him like um, she did with the other fat boys, because she just stabbed somebody, actually, believe it or not, um, he backpedals and then bumps into Gendry, who scares him off. Hot Pie is traveling north on the King's Road with Yorin's recruits. Uh, I'm going to skip the details because this can get long. This is already going to be a two-slider, and I try not to go over two slides for sh show stuff because I get the feeling that people are either more familiar with the shows or um, went through the shows more recently. And also, they're more interested in what happened in the book, so... Yeah, I, I am summarizing the show. I am bringing up most broad strokes um, what happens, right? Uh, and it still ended up being two slides. So, yeah, where was I? Um, so Arya, Gendry, and Pai, and Lumi argue about knights and armor. It's like a big thing for the show. Um, oh, he's a knight because he has armor. What makes you think he's an armor or a knight? Well, only knights have armor. That's not true. It's like a, a thing... <laughs> he says a lot in the show. Um, the group gets attacked in a barn by Amory Lorch, and Yorin dies, and Polliver kills Lamy. Oh, no, a Lamy. Um, what the heck's a Lamy? Um, they get brought to Harrenhal, and all like, and all will be tortured. And so they're all getting tortured until, or they're all about to be, until Tywin shows up. So they got, like, the tickler... And then he's like, where's 
Beric Dondarrion? And they're like, we don't know. And he's like, we're going to torture. And that's kind of all he's doing. That's all that's going on. Until Tywin shows up and he's like, what are you guys doing with these prisoners? Let's put them to work. And then everybody starts getting jobs around Harrenhal, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, until, yeah, Tywin shows up and the prisoners get to work. With the help of Jack and Hagar, they escape the ruin. Hot Pie steals food from the kitchens for the trip. Hot Pie and Gendry criticize Arya for not asking Jack and Hagar to just, you know, kill the contenders for the Iron Throne and ending the war. Yeah, I mean, they got a point. They are all captured by the Brotherhood, and the Brotherhood takes them to an inn at the crossroads, then feeds them before they can depart. The Hound is brought in as a prisoner and unexpectedly identifies Arya. And, yeah, so the part two show bread wolves. As they get ready to leave, Hoppy exclaim, uh, explains that he isn't going with them. He is going to stay there and be a cook. Um, he is... Uh, as he was a baker's apprentice before in King's Landing, the innkeeper thought that it was the best bread he'd ever had and offered him a job. So he baked bread for the innkeeper at the inns at the crossroads. And the uh, the innkeeper's like, dude, this is the best bread I've ever had. Stay. Or she. I'm not sure. Um, I guess I, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and offered him a job. He notes that the life of fighting and traveling isn't really for him. And he also points out that his brother is no king and he is no Stark of Winterhell, which is actually a more like a, a better name for Winterfell. <laughs> I like Winterhell. If I had a punk band and we were based out of Winterfell, we would be called Winterhell, right? Or is that more of a, nah, it's less of a punk. I would say punk band, but I think Winterhell sounds more like a metal band. Get on it. Any of you metalheads out there. I know I got a couple of much <laughs> who watch. Um, before they go, he gives Arya a loaf of bread shaped like a dire wolf, though Arya implies that the tail looks like a head. Um, Brienne, where was I? Um, Brienne is, what? Bro, oh, yeah, Brienne of Tarth and Podrick Payne later stop at the inn in Dine and Hot Pie serves them kidney pie he made. He asks if, oh my God, he asks if Brienne is a knight because she's wearing armor. See, it's like a whole thing. Um, he tells them his tale of his time with Arya. He likes this whole thing. They depart for the Eerie, but not before Hot Pie hands Brienne an improved variant of the direwolf-shaped loaf. Hot Pie, this is some season seven stuff, finally meets Arya again when she arrives at the inn after the whole Dabo or uh, Bravos plot where he informs her of recent events. He's like, I know you haven't been watching the show, so let me tell you about it. Um, he calls Arya pretty, and uh, then she goes north to Winterfell. So it's like a whole thing where she's like, I'm going to go and like assassinate Queen Cersei. And he goes, well, this is what's going on. A bunch of stuff up north, and she's like, I should just go up north. So that's what she does. Season seven stuff. All right. Let's show. Let's get the book. Hot Pie. Hot Pie is an orphan of King's Landing. His given name is unknown. Hot Pie is plump with straw colored hair and big eyes. He is a poor horse rider, but an, accompany, or an accomplished baker. He's a good baker. And uh, Arya Stark thinks of him as stupid and craven. Hot Pie's mother was a baker in King's Landing. And when she was alive, um, uh, the boy would push her cart around the streets yelling hot pies hot pies and that's how we got the name hot pie perfect moving on <laughs> um fighting aria so uh, i'm gonna state right now a lot of this is pretty similar the uh, differences are a little minute until it gets caught up of course the stuff that takes place in the show after the books that's different but yeah um you're in a dragged Arya into an alley after her father's execution. Spoilers. <laughs> Arya was sure he meant to kill her, but instead he just cuts her hair and promises to deliver her home to Winterfell um, uh, when he, he and the new recruits pass by. Yeah, that's a much better deal. However, Yorin insisted that she pretended to be an orphan boy and named Ari because, you know, being a little girl, probably not the best thing. You might want to pretend to be something a little... 
I don't know. Something that uh, horrible people aren't going to try to do horrible, horrible stuff to you. Is that the most PG way for me to say it? Not that a little boy is, is different, but you know what I mean. You're in, like, you should probably pretend to be a boy. Um, so, yeah, that's some awful stuff. I just said some awful stuff. Sorry. Uh, this is an awful world. Awful world. Um, so... Where was I? Uh, insisted that she pretend to be an orphan boy named Ari. So that's how she gets that. Hot pie lies about kicking another boy to death in the same thing. The men ignore her a lot, but the orphan boy Lamy Greenhands and Hot Pie take her silence to mean that she is frightened, stupid, or deaf. Arya is two years younger and quite a bit smaller than them. One morning, Lamy and Hot Pie begin questioning her about her, quote, sword needle. Wondering where she got it, Hot Pie sarcastically suggests that maybe she was a squire, but Lamy disagrees and argues that Needle is probably not even a real sword. When she angrily shouts back that it is Castle Ford Steel, um, this only gives um, rise to the claims that it was probably stolen. Like, how did she get Castle Ford Steel, right? This angers Arya even more because Needle was a gift from her ambassador brother Jon Snow, and she will not let them call her a thief or him a thief. Then Hot Pie gets an idea that he can steal Needle from her, and Lamy encourages him. Hot Pie's declaration that she doesn't even know how to use the sword takes Arya back to the stable boy that she stabbed during the escape from the Red Keep, but she doesn't mention the incident. Yeah. Yeah. So she, you know, she did that on the way out of the Red Keep. She stabbed a stable boy. So when he's like, what are you going to do about it? And she's like, Oof, I might do that. But she doesn't go like, well, I've stabbed somebody before. Um, more of more of that. <laughs> the boys continue to mock her, saying that she is going to cry and wet her pants. Gendry then tells them to let her be. But Hot Pie continues. Arya attempts to defuse the situation. Um, by offering to surrender her wooden practice sword, but Hot Pie threatens to beat her up like he did another boy, and it reaches for Needle. Arya uses her practice sword to whack Hot Pie's donkey. So I got this awesome picture of him on the donkey. The animal bucks and throws Hot Pie to the ground. Arya dismounts and breaks his nose. Wow! With a practice sword before um, turning on Lamy, who uh, cowers away in fear. The Bull, which is Gendry, the bull shouts a warning and Arya um, turns to face Hot Pie and throws, who throws a rock at her. But Arya ducks and closes the distance to strike him again on the hand, cheek, knee, fat, and the back of the head. Yeah, he just she just starts beating on him. Dazed and wounded, Hot Pie attempts to charge her, but Arya slips into a water dance pose and stabs the boy in the groin. Ouch! Um, by the time Yoram pulls her off, Arya has hit Hot Pie a dozen more times, and the boy, the boy's pants are brown and smelly. Yeah, he he probably pooed himself. That's really unfortunate. I feel really bad for Hot Pie dropping those Hot Pies around. Um, Yoram drags her off the road into a tangle of trees, cursing and muttering. There he orders her um, to drop trow, and he whacks her several times with her own thick sword. He, like, smacks her in the thigh. He, he punishes her. Arya does not want to scream but cannot help it, and her thighs and cheeks are blazing with pain. Yeah, he gives her a punishment. He gives her a good, like, a good thwacking, a good flogging. Um, I, I don't think that's what flogging is. <laughs> Flogging's like whipping, right? But yeah, he gives her a good hitting. Somebody in the comments is now telling me what flogging is. I shouldn't have said it at all. I just really am into flogging Molly. Whatever you say is correct. I'm not pretending I know anything. I don't know anything. I'm just here. Um, all right. Uh, let's let's keep going. The fight at the Holdfast. On the trail up north, they go near Heron Hall, the seat of a lady Shella went. Not for long. Um, <laughs> a known friend of the Night's Watch. Hop High worries about ghosts at Heron Hall. That's hilarious. But Urin only spits. <laughs> just That's it. Then they say to an old man and hold fast. It's like a nice, like, walled in hold fast. Amory Lorch shows up, and after a little talk, and these they all just start to fight, like they start an attack. Yeah, I'm kind of leaving out 
it's kind of a long scene, right? I'm leaving kind of about the details, but Yorin commands them to spread out and hold the walls. Arya um, finds herself next to Hot Pie, who panics because he can't fight. Arya says it's easy and pushes aside a um, a sudden terror to scream. Winterfell! <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And she hacks at the first hand that appears over the parpet. So they were like, wait until people climb over and then they start smacking their hands or cutting their hands because she's got needle. Um, warned by... Warned by Hot Pie, Arya for, um, forces the next climber back out the wall. Yeah, so he's kind of like spotting for her. Following her example, Hot Pie hacks at the hand of a third person. Amory and his men have no ladders, but the walls are rough enough to climb. So uh, there is no end to the foes. Each man they defeat is immediately replaced. After the fight, Arya, Gendry, and Hot Pie wrestle a skinny man to the ground Gendry breaks his sword on the man's helm, wow, which falls off to reveal an old frightened face. Yeah, that's important. Um, Arya feels sorry for the man, even though she and Hot Pie are killing him. Yeah, yeesh. Gendry takes the man's sword and leaps down into the yard looking for foes. Yorin declares that the battle is lost and orders her to gather as many survivors as she can and escape through the tunnel. Under the barn, there's a tunnel under the barn. Hapai is among the survivors that get out as the hold fast is burned. Boom. Uh, like I said, I'm leaving out details. Like um, She goes and gets like a Jack and Agar and roars and bite her out too, and there's a couple more things. But I'm just trying to... Eh, you know, I'm not trying to tell you guys all of Arya's plot, and that's in these books, and that's pretty much what I have to do. So I'm trying to just leave it to times hop high, as I actually mentioned. Mountains of Men. Arya and the others um, waited until the next morning to return to, or the next night to return to the burnt village. Hop High and Lamy are, were still afraid, but Lorch and his men were long gone. The holdfast is strewn with corpses on both sides, and the scavengers have already been at them. Um, they then find a village and approach it um, looking for food. Hot Pie uses um, cool dog barking signals and stuff. Yeah, like one person who's traveling with them was like a poacher, so he like teaches them like, like codes. <laughs> and it's actually like a really cool scene. Um, so yeah, they're coming up on this village. Um, um, but as they get to the village, they realize that it's actually Mountain's Men. So too late after Hot Pie yields um, some more and tells them about Lamy and Weasel. So, um, yeah, it's like a really intense scene. So they're like coming up on this village and they smell what they think is like dead animals and it turns out it's dead people. And everyone in the village is pretty much killed by the Mountain's Men, right? And he's leaving Lamy, who can't walk, and then Weasel somewhere like else, right? And then he goes up to, they like go up, they find out it's Mountain's Men, and then he yields and then brings him over to Weasel and Lamy. Um, yeah, it's it's just, they could have kept going. They thought that the village, that you needed food, and they thought it was going to be like villagers, but they it just happens to be Mountain's Men, which is really unfortunate. Uh, if you don't know who Mountain's Men is, that is... Sir Gregor Clegane, the mountain that rides men, and there are most of them are pretty messed up. I like one guy, S word mouth. <laughs> He's the only one I like. Um, Sir Gregor orders them to lead his men and um, there and then walks off. So he's like, Yeah, go and lead them to where Lamy and Weasel is. As they walk back to where Lamy and Weasel are hiding, Hot Pie promises to make pies and tarts for the full soldiers if they do not hurt them. So he's like, I'll make you guys pies, hot pies, if you will. Then they, when they arrive, Lamy immediately yields and explains that Weasel ran off and when she heard them coming. The soldiers ask Lamy where they can find Beric Dondarrion, and Lamy has never heard that name before. One of the guards declares that it's a waste of time since Arya's group do not know any more than the villagers did. A spearman drifts over to Lamy and asks if he can walk. And Lamy, when Lamy says that they're going to have to carry him, the spearman Rafford 
replies, think so? And then casually stabs the spear through Lamy's throat. Brutal! Lamy Green Hands is great. Like, he's got a part of their trio, right? And then he ends up dying. They call him Green Hands because he was a Tanner's assistant. So he just has, like, green all over his ass. Um, yeah. Um, they all are then taken to Heron Hall. Like Arya, Hot Pie is made to be a servant. And when he is sent to work in the kitchens, um... All right, he is sent to work in the kitchens, and he believes that the kitchen is haunted by ghosts, and the castle's haunted by ghosts. Hot Pie is beaten with a spoon after trying to give Arya a tart from the kitchen. Oh, man. And then after the Battle of the Blackwater, I'm kind of skipping over a lot here because Hot Pie doesn't have a lot to do with the escape, but they escape Heron Hall alongside Arya and Gendry. Yeah, I, I just went over all of that. <laughs> like, all the Bolton stuff, all of that. Bolton's show up. It doesn't matter. He's not really part of these chapters that much, so I kind of jumped over. <laughs> All right. And at the kneeling man, having seen her kill a Bolton guard at Harrenhal, Hot Pie is frightened by Arya. Arya is at gathering vegetables when she hears voices. She warns Gendry and Hot Pie. Um, they try to hide. Um, one of their horses gives them away. They are discovered by three men, Tom of Seven Streams, Lem Lemon Cloak, and Angie. Is it just Angie, Angi? I never know what to call the archer. The men say that they are king's men and then ask, um, sorry, say that they are king's men and ask if, ask them to come with them to the nearby inn called the Inn of the Kneeling Man. Arya hesitates, but after Angie shows how skilled he is with the bow, she realizes that they have no chance, like if they try to run or whatever. In route, Hop High sings The Bear and the Maiden Fair with Thomas Seven, that, or Seven Streams. That's pretty great. Arya and Hop High enter the inn with the three men. The atmosphere is friendly. The men talk with the innkeeper, um, named husband <laughs> and his wife about food. Um, Hot Pie is shocked when um, Harwin reveals, he comes in, the character Harwin reveals that Arya's Arya. He's like, Arya Stark. And they're like, Arya, what? Um, he decides to stay at the inn and make bre uh, bread for Sharna and her husband named Husband, um, hoping that his friend Arya will return after the War of the Five Kings. That's right. He stays at the end of the Kneeling Man, and that's the whole story. So that's the last place we saw Hot Pie. So he's with her for pretty much all of Clash and a little bit in the Storms, right? And, um, or, yeah, I think a little bit in the Storms, or more than a little bit. Yeah, a little bit in the Storms? It doesn't matter. <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's it. So I got some differences, and I uh, I was kind of just thinking about symbolism, so I don't have it written down on my, my differences thing, but I'm going to say it. I just realized how... There's got to be a reason why Lamy, Hot Pie, and Gendry are all apprentices of, of just normal workers, right? Of like craftsmen, of workers, man. Like there's there's a baker, a tanner, and a, a blacksmith. There's got to be symbolism of how like that the working class gets destroyed during war. I know I know how much. Um, and George likes to drop that kind of symbolism. Um, but yeah, I, I'm assuming, I kind of just now thought of that, of how they're all pretty much the apprentices of a, like a craftsman. And that's got to be a thing, right? That has to be on purpose. I can't believe I never thought about that before. Because there's a baker, a tanner, and um, a blacksmith walking to a bar at the inn. All right, I'm done. Um, differences. Well, to start off, um, they start off the same, but only um, slight changes. They are captured at the first fight with the Lannister men, right? Um, so they are captured by Lannister men and not later Mountains men, right? That's one small difference. Um, Raph is the one who kills Lamy. That's more of a Lamy thing, uh, but not Polymer. Polymer. The major difference is that he stays at the Inn of the Kneeling Man and not at the Inn of the Crossroads. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and of course, all the wolf bread stuff. Um, since um, none of that is a thing. And then since Arya never returns, she never sees him again, right? So he never gets to call her pretty, and he never gets to convince her to go north. But yeah, that's it. Pretty cool character. I think Hop High is definitely a fan favorite. And um, I did a poll 
and he was in it. Um, so you guys really wanted me to talk about hot pie, and I'm down. I like hot pie. So yeah, that's it. What do you guys think? Um, I think this is one of the closest characters I covered. Only very small cosmetic changes, small changes. Um, you guys like hot pie? Um, do you like hot pie, Lamy, or Gendry more? And would you rather be a, a baker, a tanner, or a blacksmith? Everyone would rather be a blacksmith. Except if you like cooking. I like cooking. All right. That's all I got, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And, yeah, do all that YouTube stuff. And peace.